welcome to the stage, Lauren D. and read you guys some poetry. Right. Awake, I am swallowed by the entirety of the situation. Asleep, dreams drift to the outskirts of eternity. My mind sits where giants once tossed the forest like bushes dragging along their swollen thighs. Adrift, thoughts pass while signs of a better day feels numb. When does it start? Aroused. Parts of my body that were unacceptably, unacceptably spoken about in this disturbed culture are now demanding attention. So I give it to them. Ambidextrous. I could only ever create with my right hand, but these days it's getting shaky. Aggravated. Why must we stand by while the truth is melting before our feet? It seems like everyone knows there is something wrong, but what could it be? Anxious. There are holes in this cup and the water is spilling all over my pants. <laughs> Adults. I do not want to leave these fairy tales behind. The responsibility pokes at my rib cage. I will not take part in this rat race because I am not a rat, I am a human. Action. Creating something that can uphold the winds that blow and the river that floods. This one is called home. Admiration. You do this thing really well. I want to do it just like you. Angles. My face feels too round until I forgive myself for existing. The corners of a triangle remind me that I am only human. Architecture. Fill your cities with beauty. Fill your soul with culture. Fill my memory with the spaces and lines between window sills. We've got time to kill. We might as well let, get lost in any place. And I have two more, and they are um, sequential, so yeah. All right, the first one's called The Fear. Fear negates my heart and holds close to the desires of my less conscious self. A bubble swells in my stomach and creates a thin space between the complete confusion and understanding of these things that haunt my daydreams. Autonomy is held on a string that hovers above my comfortable thought and the thread that is holding together my loose ends. Songs are sung about the heroes and the warriors, but what about the people who didn't know which side to be on? I've always believed in freedom, but these days I'm wondering which end it is coming from, and I feel lost in this time shell of exploding cells. I want for this arrangement of feelings to get lost inside the red of my blood. I am whole. To create a better day is so different than wasting away in a mind that is pacing up and down public hallways. Throw a rock into a river of pavement, I am throwing a stone into a distant land, watching the moon wane and wax, and at any second we could be attacked by the large teeth of forgotten creatures, but still we strip off our clothes and dive into the deep end, trying to mend wounds that we can't heal. I'm healing them with words, my dear. You are whole. We are beings with souls bursting out of our skeletons, out of our very marrow. If I sleep alone tonight, then I will know that I am sane. I am whole. A whole being with whole thoughts and whole purpose, whose intentions are to spread light in a world who is not mine. To create the stories that make my great-grandchildren's heart flutter. They are whole, and I want them to understand because we are all whole. All right. And this is the second one, it's called Rebirth. <coughs> I wish you the best. You've started a test that will twist, in cir twist you in circles. Do not fall down because your skin is still soft and will bruise on the bones that were laid on the ground. They are not set up to catch your fall. They have been carefully laid out to remind you of reborn souls rising from the ashes. You are a phoenix and you have been set to flames once again. Your skin is charred and swollen for too long now my, now my love. It is time to be beautiful. Somewhere between the feeling of being too large and too small, you must find a way to take up the perfect amount of space. Somewhere, be to, somewhere between being too loud and letting your voice be stepped on, you must create a name for yourself. You are only human, but humans have this tremendous power to change and create. 
It sounds so hard on the days that you feel less important than the stars, but the stars have less imprints on your soul. That is why your eyes change color with the seasons. I know it is hard because I sit and listen to the part of you that wants to be free. You are sick of hiding, ready to rise, ready to sprout like tulips after a cold Colorado winter, the first sign of long days and warm nights. Ready to declare dependence from the shackles that are handcrafted and decorated with past regrets. I know it is hard because I have witnessed the part of you that wants to take off these dark goggles and see. You are beautiful. You are a manifestation of everything that has happened to you. These events are real. These events are pieces of the biggest, most confusing, 10,000 million piece puzzle you've ever tried to finish. But you must work because each piece does have a place. Each piece is pulling together your very gravity, your existence. It is time now, my love, for you to rise from the ashes and spread your vibrant wings. You are a phoenix. I know it is hard, but I can help you, and I know it is hard because you are me. Thanks, guys.